Hey guys, it's Jess, and I'm excited to share a new video for the Simon Hurley Create design team. This video is going to feature three different cards using the new release that dropped on August 2nd of 2019, and I hope you enjoy the different types of cards that you can make with this release. So for this first card, I am doing something a little bizarre, but I wanted to try it out and see what would happen. So I'm actually using the Simon Hurley Create dye ink pads to color my image. Now I went messy on purpose, um, and I realized that it looks like a five-year-old colored this in, or maybe like a three-year-old, <laughs> um, and that's okay. I was going for more whimsical. Um, this isn't going to be everyone's style, and that's okay, but I thought with that cute little kid singing with his mouth so wide open like that, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of Charlie Brown, and I don't know, it just, it was funny to me to color it all crazy like that, so I went with it, and I think it turned out kind of cute, although it is definitely not my normal style. So I'm using some Spectrum Noir alcohol markers to add just a little bit of detail in there so that it's not quite so flat. And um, this is going to be a one layer card and I wanted to add just a little bit more dimension than I got with the ink pad. Um, but I'm just adding like a tiny bit of shadows, nothing fancy, like super, super fast. Um, then I went ahead and used the same thing. So I'm using the dye ink pads here to add in the ground. So this one is the wood uh, ink pad and before I used overzealous and later gator as well as Gur, and then I believe I used over the moon for the star so then for the pants I came in with the ink pad and used remember me uh, I really like that these colors um, are so nice. There's 12 colors in the line right now. It's possible that there may be more in the future, but I don't have any info on that really. <laughs> um, but I like that there is a good range of colors and you can do a whole lot with them. As you can see here, I'm using them to color in a person um, and a Christmas tree and it worked out pretty well. Even though I'm using yellow for his face, um, I don't know, it just, it made me laugh and it worked out pretty Pretty well I think. Uh, so to keep things simple I'm just using my mini Misty to stamp the sentiment which just says fa la 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 <laughs> um, and I just think it turned out so cute. I did use the Ranger Mister to or the sprayer sorry to add a couple of little droplets to add a little bit of interest to the uh, dye ink since these are water reactive. Uh, and then I went ahead and blotted that up with a paper towel. Now this is something new I'm trying, just giving you guys a place where you can pause and take a look at the supplies I use for each individual card. Um, if you guys like this, drop me a comment and let me know. If you don't like it, you can also drop me a comment and let me know. <laughs> uh, so for the second card, I actually seem to have lost the footage of me doing the actual ink smushing, uh, but basically all I did was I put down an acrylic block and I smeared the ink pads of Overzealous and Later Gator onto it and then spritzed it with water and then I just plopped my paper right into it. This is the Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock. It's super thick and sturdy and it actually holds water fairly well though it's not a watercolor cardstock. Uh, so this is kind of similar to what I did only instead of plopping my paper in it I took a water brush and used the ink to splatter um, little droplets onto it just to add a little more interest. I thought it gave it a little more depth and excitement, and I think it turned out really cool. Uh, so I did set that aside to dry, and I'm using my Mini Misty with a piece of black cardstock. That was the anti-static powder bag from Ranger, and now I'm using some Spectrum Noir Watermark ink. This is just an embossing ink, so it's clear and sticky. You pour your embossing powder right on top of it, and then melt that embossing powder with the heat tool, and you get this really cool, uh, slightly dimensional and shiny, uh, effect to your sentiment, which I think looks really great with white on the black cardstock. It makes it pop really nicely. It's probably my favorite technique to do, and I use it on almost every card I make. <laughs> it's kind of my thing right now. Um, and then I did go ahead, like I said, melt that down with the heat tool and just adhered it. I did, after the fact, go in and add in some gold Nouveau drops, uh, and I thought that was really cute on the Christmas tree. 
So for my third and final card, I decided I wanted to switch things up, and instead of using the Christmas card or the Christmas stamp set, I went in with the Mythical Mermaid stamp set, and I'm also using C Floor, which is this background stamp. Now this is a red rubber background stamp, and it is a cling mount, uh, so you can still use it in your stamp positioner. You just remove that little backing piece and stick it right in, but I think it's just as easy to use it at, like I just did and just put your paper straight down on top of it. So what I did there is I used the purple, uh, which is triple berry, and then remember me, uh, which is the blue, to um, just smoosh around the ink a little bit on my uh, background stamp. I spritzed it with water and then I put the cardstock directly down on top of it and smoothed it down so that I would get a really cool watercolor effect without having to really do any work for it. And I really like the way that it turned out. Um, now this one I was just kind of messing around trying to pick up some of the ink that I left behind. I'm not sure if I'll use that one or not, but I really love the way this blue and purple one turned out. So I decided I wanted to use the unicorn, uh, and I decided to make him a mermaid. Um, so this was the first time I stamped it out, so I stamped it out twice just to make sure I got good coverage since I wasn't using a uh, stamp positioner tool. And then I went ahead and put that mermaid tail right on there. Now I am going to go ahead and turn on some music because I'm going to be doing some coloring for a little while, and then I'll be back with you at the end. So now that the coloring is done, it's time to put our card together. And I'm going to start by doing some, you guessed it, heat embossing on black cardstock. It really is my go-to. I think it looks really nice. You guys let me know in the comments, though, what you think. Is it a good touch? Is it overused? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> so I'm using the sentiment that says, you mer make me happy, because that's so super cute. And with a mermaid unicorn, I don't know. How could you not be happy? So... It works. <laughs> uh, so I'm putting it on this strip here and again using all the same tools, melting it with my Wagner heat tool. I'm going to go ahead and attach that uh, background that we made to, a, a, uh, to an A2 size card base and then go ahead and adhere my little black strip down. Um, this will give my mermaid a place, kind of like a landing strip, somewhere to go, somewhere to kind of ground it a little bit so that it doesn't look really weird, just kind of like floating around in the nowhere land. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it helped a little bit and it ate up some of that space to the left so it didn't look out of place. Using some foam tape to go ahead and pop that up and give it a little bit of dimension. Um, and then I did go ahead and also add in some clear droplets. These things look like little water drops, and I think they're really super cool, especially when you're doing a water or underwater sort of theme. Um, I think they're a really nice touch. Um, let me know what you guys think about all these cards down in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, 
I'm always interested to hear your feedback. So uh, adding the last finishing touch, which is the Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Overlay Pen, because what's a unicorn or a mermaid without a little sparkle? And that finished off my card. Hope you guys love the video. Be sure to let me know what you think down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely consider doing that. Hit that like uh, button if you enjoyed the video and hit the bell notification if you'd like to get notified of videos that I make in the future. And I will see you guys in another video really soon. Bye!